Welcome back to What's Trending Live from South by Southwest Interactive. We're coming to you live from the Samsung Blogger Lounge. And 2013 marks possibly the first time South by Southwest hosted a panel focused on Alaskan crab fishing. Did you know that? And now, welcome Twitter's resident tough guys, the stars of Discovery Ooh. Channel's deadliest catch, Captain Jonathan, Captain Ooh. Keith, and Captain Sig. Welcome to the Samsung yeah. Blogger Lounge. Uh, yes, they want a bigger applause. They deserve. Do they get paid for blogging out there? They get paid from their, they have their own bosses, or maybe some of them are their own bosses. But I mean, you guys just like sit there and blog all day. <laughs> Tweet, blog, they're the information age. Well, we just sit there and catch crab all day long, so it's just a little different. Just I know, it's just a little different, a different medium, you know. Uh, what is it like for you guys being here in Austin at South by Southwest? This is great, man. I, I didn't know there's so many bands here. And how cool a place it is. Yeah, you're into bands and culture and going to music and awesome. all that? Awesome, just awesome. Yeah, you guys had, I heard, a rockin' session. You guys killed it. We <laughs> vlogged it. <laughs> Wait, you what? We <laughs> vlogged it. Oh, man, I, that was some funny stuff going on over yeah, there. Yeah, it certainly wasn't G-rated, I'll tell you that right now. Well, I don't think our show's exactly G-rated. No. And it, I mean... They're not here to bleep you. No, so but it's like be yourself, be you know? You have to be yourself. I mean, I think that's the what makes the show so incredible and what's made people want to follow your lives. And, and you know, the weather is our... That's our producer. That's God's the director of our set, or Mother Nature or whatever. So when you're in settings like this, is it life too simple in these types of settings? Life is never simple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Do you want things to be more crazy? You know what would be a worse nightmare chaos? if we had to type something on a computer? I know none of you can type. I've never typed. I didn't know what a dang even hashtag even a keyboard was until like a month years. ago. <laughs> no, yeah. We're all old school, man. We're all peck, 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 peck. We're but you're tweeting. Packers. I saw you guys taking pictures right before this, uh, this live stream. We're learning as we go. You're, well, what did you Twitter learn? Now. You just oh, learned... Uh, Vine. Today we discovered Vine. Jonathan and I discovered Vine. But it took like an hour and we still only <laughs> done one. <laughs> no, so we got it figured out. Yeah. It sucked an hour from my life from me. Yeah. So you <laughs> so I could do one little, I know, what it's the like, heck happened there? <laughs> they get you tweeting and then it sucks an hour out of your day and then another hour. I go, great, just another thing for me to have to do every day. My wife was so mad at me when I first started that because she's like, well, you know, I'm not giving anybody attention because you're always tweeting and you can't keep up. That's the problem. I feel like yeah. I'm behind all the time. You do? Yeah. Well, the thing is, we got kids that can do it and sit there and hold a conversation. I think I you mean, need to learn another skill. Hand. We need to add another skill to you. Don't push the button when it's at a time. <laughs> but you've gotten into it. You guys each have uh, a good following. Jonathan, you have uh, 94,000 followers over that. Sig, you have 88,000. Now, Keith, uh, 45,000. What's up? Jonathan's better looking. <laughs> I, actually, it was my... Uh, you know, we try to be as real as possible, but, you know, sometimes when we're fishing, we have to have other people help us. So we well, have moderators course. or whatever. Well, if and the last one I had was kind of gearing things a little not towards fishing, but more towards... So you're blaming it on the person? Well, well yeah. What is, I mean, how many puppies and <laughs> cute cats tweet, can you tweet? If you tweet too much, you get... People stop following you because you tweet too much. And, like, I was following Alec Baldwin or whatever, and he tweets too much about his girlfriend, so I... Text him out. Oh. <laughs> bye bye. I'm tired of he's hearing nice. about he, your. He's showing well, then his to love. Tom Hanks, you know, he, lo he loves our show. Wait, wait, wait. He's on Tom. Tom's talking about his electric show. car and stuff. Well, I just don't want to follow him. He tweets too much. Yeah, but so maybe you tweet too much. Yeah, but like Discovery's got us running around doing stuff like this, and it's great. So you tweet, you're gone, and I'm afraid someone's going to tweet into my house and rip me off. So. <laughs> <laughs> And I'll tweet him right I in the nose. I left the location <laughs> thing on, and, th and they knew right where I was. I was at Junior's well, house, and they knew I was in Oregon. Oh, I'm going, wow. how the hell do they know where I'm at? It's getting to the point where, like, now people can get on a computer, and they'll know where our boats are. We have a thing called AIS and BMS. Uh -huh. It's a vessel, like a tracking system. Yeah. Government tracks us. And they're figuring it out, so now they know oh, exactly yeah. where you're at. And we've been lying all these years about where we're at. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're some all tweeter <laughs> guy in Oklahoma is like, whoa, they're over there. We're sitting down on Ballard Avenue at the bar, and we're supposed to be in the shipyard. It's like, <coughs> uh -oh. or, or you're on the east side of the island catching the heck out of the crab, telling everyone, oh, I'm over on the west side of the island, and they're going, no, you're right over there. I know, here. we get paid to lie for a living, and you got some tweeter dude that's telling everybody So it's we're ruining right. your game. Yes, yeah. I want to hear about the crazy people that follow you. You said Tom Hanks follows you, but you don't follow him back. Well, no, he, he said a few times it's his favorite show, and that's why I started following him. And I said hi, Tom, a couple times, but I'm sure he's got millions of followers, so he's not going to answer me back. But he just tweets too much, so sorry, I love you, Tom. <laughs> and you guys, who do you follow, or who, do, who follow you? 
I got all kinds of guys. <laughs> a lot of guys. You have a huge... A lot of guys. <laughs> 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 uh, we're not going to go down that road, are we, Shane? <laughs> I don't did know. We do, you already did that at the panel. Let's not do it again. <laughs> are you embarrassing your uh, team here? Well, yes. well, Edgar was kind of thrown under the bus a little bit. Why? Yeah, that was some funny stuff. Well, well anyway, you had to be there. Yeah. You, you oh, oh somebody, I see. It's these an inside joke. could tell you what happened, probably. Yeah, we could uh, search it right now in real time. You could search it and figure that one out in two seconds. So, ninth season. How many coming seconds? Up. <laughs> <laughs> it was the most evil. We were year. making small jokes. We were making small talk. We were small talk. Small talk. Oh, okay. About his brother. <laughs> wink, wink. Oh, I get it. Yeah. I get it. You've been tweeting too much. <laughs> I don't know. You what need to get in the real world, <laughs> man. His brother got thrown under you the bus. You know what? There's bus. a life outside that door. There's a real life for you. Swear to God. <laughs> Will you invite I'll me give you $1,000 if you give me your computer for one day. My tablet. You my would Samsung die. tablet. You would die. <laughs> oh, my God. Where's my life? It is hard. I get jittery if I'm not connected. It is true. I didn't it's have a crazy. phone for it's like this past week. Thing at home or whatever. Yeah, but but you guys are you know out and about and and on you know on, on the water and away from everything. And these won't even work out there. Yeah, so we're gone. We get to leave it for months, three months. And but at the same time, now you have crews following you. I mean, has it changed the way uh, you approach your work? When you have so Yeah, when you have all these people following you. No, and when, once we go fishing, we turn it off. And that's another thing that's nice about social media is that, I mean, at times we can keep it a one-way street. I mean, we but don't want to know every but it's intimate great detail about our life. Promoting some, we're going to be here, come hang out with us, or, or I'm selling this, or whatever. It's really great. I mean, seriously, yeah. it's been... <laughs> It's, you, it's come so far. Did you imagine that you would be here today, like fi five years ago? Um, year could you ago. have imagined this? Could you have imagined sitting next to three crab fishermen a few <laughs> years ago? I actually <laughs> jumped about it last night. <laughs> three guys from Alaska. My mom, you know, she said lawyers and crab fishermen. Those were the ones to look out Stay for. Stay away from. <laughs> yes, the, the crab fishermen are taking over. Someday, someday they'll be in Hollywood. But it's hard to get rid of us. We're like the cute little dog that keeps peeing on the, and you can't get rid of him. So, all right, let's talk about the ninth season in April coming up. How many fans, are, are there fans here of Deadliest Catch? There you go. Let's right. hear from the fans. Okay. I like the girl in the green. Girl yep. in the green. See, the, you, you, do have, you do have ladies following yes. you. Uh, there's actually a lot of ladies following What's us. your handle? What's your... Jenny Devine, okay. You gotta tweet her. You gotta tweet her. Answer the, answer the young lady's question. All three of our boats oh, are still active yeah. and working. His boat's on its way to Homer. Mine's on its way to Seattle, and his is still fishing. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go back still Wednesday. So I'm here just for this deal, and then I gotta go back. There you go. We, we've been you. having shout outs from the audience for people watching live at home right now. So how have your lives changed since all this happened? You feel better about yourself. You get cooler. recognized everywhere you go. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. And it's changed our industry for the better. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Like, and nobody complains about the price of seafood and it, anymore. And a lot of people they buy it. Oh, seafood caught in the, in the United States, caught by United States fishermen and not foreign or illegally caught stuff. And yeah, it's, so it's, it's, the it's raised awareness about fisheries, about sustainable fisheries, about you know, just the hard blue collar work that we do out there and every other fisherman around the U.S. So it's there's the pluses. It's the only real show on TV. I mean, that actually, this is what's happening here. Here's your. Well, like some guy walked up to Jonathan. He's like, uh, when do you guys go to L.A. to film, you know, behind the blue screen? <laughs> I, I thought he meant filming something weird. I go, I don't know. And they, when he's talking about fishing, I go, we fish in Alaska. He goes, because oh, I'm a big fan of the show. When do you go back to L.A. and film? I'm going to. Dude, If come you're a on. Film, big fan of the show, we fish in Alaska. It, it goes both ways. You know, I had a little kid one time came up to me. He's about four years old, and he's like, asked me this really important question. He says, how do you get out of the box? The TV. <laughs> and that's, that's another thing. Describing people, it these people days. they see us, and they're shocked to see us because they think that we're, we fish 12 months a year, you and that's just where we them. should be. Are you ever um, surprised at what ends up making the cut in the edit? And have there ever been moments where you're like, no, I don't want that <laughs> To go no, because there. Oh, there ever no, been moments. We, oh my that's God. the deal. We gave them the deal. Said, look, you know, they're going to show what they're going to show. Yeah. And it's usually the dramatic. You stuff. always forget what happens too, you and, know. and then you go, oh shoot, I forgot how evil that season was. And we try to remember the good things. And yeah, we just try to go on to the next like, day. We're not worried about you know. Oh, don't you let back these guys on your life play you know, this. Just every I want to hear. I want to hear the day. real deal. You I tell me the real deal. I can guarantee you there isn't it. one guy sitting up here that wouldn't like to have their hands in the editing, but we have zero. And that sucks. Yeah, 
It does suck, right? Because I like, people forget. I mean, reality when you're part reality stars. I mean, you're not like Jersey Shore. I would yeah, say but you're we're, more that's real. just it. We're a documentary. It's not a reality. You could be yeah. nice yeah. for a hundred days and, and then, you yell at one camera guy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do they get scared of you? Has just anyone once. quit because you just freak them out? We've had camera guys quit, get sick, and almost die. We've had we've quit a time or two yeah. just because we got you know aggravated. But at the end of the day, I mean, like, look at it. You got almost a generation of kids out there that have been watching this, and all we ever get is a pat on the back, you know. It's like, hey, man, we love what you do. And it's it's really, for a blue-collar guy, it's a big deal. Well, you're not blue-collar anymore. For, for you. Say. And then, well, like little kids, they're, they they aspire to be fishermen, you know. You yeah. Know these it stories makes you feel about good when somebody says, hey, they you want to work with their smile. Hands. I've been smile for no years. No offense to the button pushers out there. but so. They work with their hands. There's the fingers Oh, yeah. Typing. Click, click, click. <laughs> oh, yeah. But so we, cool. On the bearing we have carpal tunnel, like the grip. It's the crabber claw. So how many wrist braces we got out there today yeah. from doing this all day long? <laughs> It's got to be a couple. <laughs> and there's probably people here not even doing this thing. They're probably somewhere else blogging. Probably six different there blogs. There are people watching they're live online. They're probably doing online. six different blogs and six different things. But I mean, it's good because it shows the PBR, a work they're over here. You know. over there. PBR. DVR? PBR, the Professional Bull Riders. Oh, okay. <laughs> PBR. There are concerts going on. I there's all it, kinds of things going on. This day and age, with, with TV and, you know, people less and less people watching TV, for a show like yours to be so successful says a lot about what you're doing and how the story is being told. Because it's real. It's real. I think it's, it's a real work lives, ethic. real stories. Well, if you if, think about it, you know, we're, we're in season nine. Yeah. Um, I mean, reality TV really started in the last decade. And we're still out there. And, and I think the reason is because it is real. It's like Jonathan it's said. Authenticity. Mother, yeah. Mother Nature's the producer. We don't know what we're going up against. We don't know when that next big wave's coming. And we don't know when somebody's going to get knocked down. And Someone bust might up not their be head. coming home. You might yeah. lose a guy. And it's so funny because, like, the, the producers on the boats and the camera guys are like, well, man, we gotta, what are you guys going to do this year? Because it's got to be better than last year. And we're like, whoa, I don't know. Uh, why don't you read the weather report and find out? Because we can't, you can't script it, it's impossible. Yeah, what do your families think of all of this and the success and the attention you've gotten from the show? Yeah, it's a plus. Uh, you know, I think early on it was cool because we were documenting what we did, right? I mean, so our, we could show our, our families what we're doing. We couldn't lie to them anymore about the fact that it was a lot worse than it actually was. Hmm. But, yeah. um, but now it, it can be a bit much. You know, I mean, my kids, they get to school on Wednesday and they get bombarded with, oh, did you see what your dad did this week? It's like, oh, oh, really? And, oh, yeah. And, and you're then, gone from home more than you used to be gone from home. But with yeah. the new technology, they have new GoPro cameras, and the cameras have come so far. Like this next year, they had those GoPros all over the boat. They're going to have shots that you've never seen. Yeah, let's talk about that and new season. And then the evil, just the winter was evil up yeah. there. They're still up there trying to battle this ice and, and hell. It's living hell. New season's still going on for us, but what they do is they start filming in October. Yeah. That's when our red king crab season starts. Uh -huh. So they're, they're putting that together. And then when we do our Apelio season, which we start in January, and it ends in April or May, they're putting that together as we... As they already started or airing their like shows. Last year. It's it's amazing, amazing what they do. There's the people ice. in June that think we're actually fishing. Do they watch it on TV? <laughs> so he's going to be coming to Dutch Harbor and they'll go out to see him. And he's not there in June. But this season <laughs> was pretty, so. pretty tough. I mean, so far. And we're still going through it. We're still trying to get done. Yeah. And now, Jonathan, you, in, addi in addition to being a crabber, you also written a children's book. Adventures of a Little Bird. Oh, but I wrote two more. I got three, actually. But, uh, really? I'm the, the, People would be surprised about that. Hey, yeah. where's, Jonathan? Jonathan? where's Jonathan's, Jonathan's, Jonathan's book? Get anyway, it up. So, I, I got <laughs> hurt really bad, so i um riding a bull. Yeah. And then I got in a motorcycle wreck two months later, so I started writing these books for my kids. Look at I, that. I just finished these two. Uh, that is so ones. cute. I do all the artwork and, and No way. It's about the little crab brothers and. And he's single, get, so he's going to have more women chasing after so him. Anyway, now. I got these coming Check out. Check that stuff out, man. This guy's <laughs> serious. That's, that is that's amazing. Good you need stuff. to get published. Yeah. No, I, I love I'm how publishing it's so them. So my, my goal is to write three good quality books with good good values at the end. You're very DIY. Before, before I, in one year, because I got hurt June 2nd, so before June 2nd, that's going to be published. This will be out next month. He used to pick up women in parks walking little dogs or babysitting. <laughs> <laughs> I now he's like, no, I'm going to write he a had the cute, He had the cutest bulldog He's got two time. female Pomeranians. <laughs> okay. Little white Pomeranians. You guys are competing against mini dogs? I've never seen this. <laughs> We're tough guys, man. We no, got no. Yeah. So do you guys all secretly have a sensitive side? I have a Pomeranian, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got a picture of him holding two doing Dr. Evil. Or do you guys intentionally That's go it. out of your way to project this macho attitude? No, come on. 
That's it, I, I pretty much everybody that meets me out on the street is like, wow, you know, you're not nearly as intense as I see you on TV. It's like, well, yeah, it's not blowing 50 today either, and I'm out there trying to keep five guys alive. Do you have you on medication now? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's pretty thing. heavily medicated, <laughs> actually. <laughs> It's I like, don't know if he is. I'm it's kidding. It's like this lady comes up to my wife at the airport, and she's like, well, you know, your husband's a, an ass. He's so mean. How could you marry such a bad guy? And she's just like, what? You know, we're on the job. That's when they're filming us. They're not filming us at home being family men. You know what I mean? And I got grandbabies. You know, they're both five, mm-hmm. and they're great, and I did it for them. And oh, yeah, people anyway. were shocked. I, I coached Little League for almost six years. Not one F-bomb, not one beep, not anything. I mean, wow. because... You know, there's a time and a place for everything. And we never fishing, beat up a kid. Never. <laughs> not even an umpire. For that Surprising. Do you, do you watch rea- other reality shows? Any other shows that you want to give a shout out to? He's that got that all like those women at home, so I'm sure he watches oh, right. Housewives and he watched MTV probably. Well, my eyes are yeah. focused that way. It doesn't mean that I'm actually absorbing what I'm seeing. But My daughter's <laughs> getting me we'll hooked watch on uh, TV, yeah. What's Downtown Abbey? Is that what it yeah, is? Yeah, Downtown Discovery Abbey. Channel. My daughter's starting to get Discovery me Channel on that. is yeah, where I know it's wrong channel, what we should all be watching. Discovery. All right, lastly, before we go, uh, do you have anything, uh, a message for all the live viewers online and all the young people watching right now? Yeah, we've all got full crews. We do not need any help. <laughs> you got a lot of people asking you, don't you? Oh, or wait, get your a- ass off your couch and get over here and see us and come well, hang out, and have some fun. Yeah, in offline, Austin. like all these amazing bloggers out South there. South by or Southwest, our baby. One, do you eat crab? Is that your favorite? It's like, yeah, we eat crab. <laughs> or how do you boil crab? I like that. Oh, that one. was the best. <laughs> That you let that little old lady have it. I just felt so bad. You put it in a pot and you (laughs) boil it. (laughs) We actually have a parting gift for you today, Samsung Galaxy Tab 2. So you can work on your finger exercises uh, to type better. (laughs) (laughs) For all of you out there. Don't make me take that away from you. Thank you. If uh, there's one uh, strategy to your tweets, what would it be? What are we going to see in the future? Have somebody follow me around and tell them what to tweet. To just have them tweet for you. You need a Twitter assistant. A Twitter assistant. That's what you want. Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm off. Sweet. Oh, uh, I have one. <laughs> what? Don't, don't get drunk and tweet. It's a bad idea. That's good advice. Yeah. That's it. Been there, the done bloggers that. like that. Oh, well, and the other thing it, is, it came up earlier. You know what? That's the problem with tweeting. It's like drunk dialing 90,000 or 90 million people at once. <laughs> Be careful you when you hit the send button. The cast of the deadliest catch. Give it up for, Thanks for having all us, the everybody. captains today. Thank you. Such a pleasure. Thank Check out the so new much. season in April, of course, on the Discovery Channel. It's been amazing, guys. Thank you so much. Thank we, you. we really Thank appreciate you. it. This is too awesome. All, all the best of yeah. luck with everything. Yes. <laughs>